Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. For new subscribers, welcome. Um, this look today is going to be like a teal, turquoise, blue, dark, smoky eye. Um, I haven't been on here in a while, sorry about that. Life got in the way and your girl got busy. So, um, today, this is what we're going to be doing. I'm first going to start out by priming my eyes, of course, with the, um, MAC Paint Pot and Paint Early. Um, very important stuff for bright colors. It's going to make the colors stand out more. So the first product that I'm going to be taking to put on my eyes is going to be Makeup Geek and it is in Beaches and Cream. I'm going to be taking a fluffy brush and just blending that all up into my brow bone, basically all over my eye. This will help with the transition process. Alright, so the next color that I'm going to be taking is called Chickadee and this is also by Makeup Geek. Um, this color is good because as soon as we blend in the more browns, it's going to be an easy transition. And since we're working with brighter colors, this is really going to help us out. The next color that I'm going to be taking in the same palette is uh, Cocoa Bear from Makeup Geek. And I'm just going to blend that right over top of the chickadee. Using an angled chisel brush, um, I'm going to be taking beaches and cream once again and putting that right on my brow bone just to clean up wherever we blend it out. So the next color that I'm going to be taking is Mermaid by Makeup Geek once again. And I'm going to be putting this right into the crease of our eye. Start with little layers at first and then slowly build up the color, trust me. Um, this is how I got the best blendable transition that I got. Um, that's really with every shadow that you want to do. You always just want to start small and then just build upon the color. Right here is when I wanted to start to darken up the crease and unfortunately I did not get a shot of the color that I'm using. But this is also for Makeup Geek and it is called Peacock. Just kidding, I put it in for you guys. After blending that all out, I'm going to be using Magpie by Sugar Pill. Um, this is just a very dark blue with different color reflexes, very beautiful. Um, I feel like this is easiest to apply since it's a pigment with a wet finger. So if I have like a makeup wipe nearby, then I'll just really quickly put my finger on the makeup wipe and then just dip it into the pigment. I feel like if you're using a brush and it's really just going to knock off all the glitter and just leave you with like a pastel blue color. So as you can see, it's just it's going to apply better just using your finger. Next thing that I'm going to do is dip my finger back into Mermaid and just put the right in the inner corner. So you just want to continue to do that to the other eye and of course you're going to get fallout. I mean it's a loose pigment, you've got to expect that. So just have a makeup wipe nearby and kind of sharpen up the corners as you're doing that too. small shader brush and just applying um, Corrupt by Makeup Geek Ray on my lower lash line up until the mermaid. Then I'm just going to take an Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On Eye Pencil in the shape Perversion and I'm going to be applying that to my lower lash line and then just blending that into Corrupt. So my lovely camera died um, just as I was putting on my eyeliner which was just Inglot number 77 gel liner. And then the lashes were um, Sugar Pill Cinescent. Um, lashes are my favorite.
in here I'm just highlighting with soft and gentle and I'm so sorry about the um, the light that's coming on my face you can't really see what I'm doing um, all that much but I'm gonna get a screen for my diva ringlet that's why it's so like strong on my face but anyway so I'm using soft and gentle as a highlight and then as a contour I'm gonna be using cream soda from the Anastasia Beverly Hills uh, contour kit but these were the refills that I got For the blush, I'm just going to be using ColourPop Super Shock Cheeks in uh, Birthday Soup. Moving on to eyebrows, I'm just going to be using Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow Pomade in Dark Brow. I often have trouble with this eyebrow only because there's more sparse areas in this one than there is in the other one, so to really just recreate an entire tail, it's kind of harder on this side. that I'm using is Skimpy by Colourpop Cosmetics. The lip color that I will be using is Nude Beach by Too Faced and it's so creamy. I love it. Now that's about it guys. Um, thank you so much for watching. If you like this video please give me a thumbs up, subscribe, share this video, do whatever you want if you liked it. If not, I understand. Um, follow me on Instagram at sancaccio underscore M-U-A. And thank you for watching. Bye-bye.